Hey, let's do we'll that. do whatever you want, Ben, because you got the mouse. I've got that. I've you got the mouse. I'm just follow your lead. I just ask rhetorical <laughs> questions sometimes because so I'm in control. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so this is the platform, what it looks like, and what I was mentioning to you about the open an account window is right here. You can open up as many demo accounts as you choose to, just so you know. They're not going to. Uh, I want lots. Huh? Yeah, you can. Lots. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Okay. As long as you keep a trade uh, or place a trade every 20 days, and you're going to be fine on that. You're going to have it open. So yes. we are going to choose this one as Mr. Millie. Oh, Millie Born. Like the uh, Born Ultimatum. Yeah. I like that show. Yep. Or like the Millborn's uh, card game. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and basically fill out this information here. We're going to choose to go to a mini account. And the maximum leverage right now that we have available to us is 100 to 1. What should we do for our deposit? How are we feeling? Let's do, I'm saying let's take 16,000. 16? Yep. 1, 2, 3. Yep. All right. Why not? Uh, and you just go ahead and select, I agree to subscribe to your newsletters. Go ahead and select next. That's going to default. We're going to choose the 2 underscore 4 decimal. And Cindy, this is, or um, maybe it was uh, Jim, this may have been where you want to, uh, it's addressing your 30-point question, uh, to, uh, to open it up. You want to follow this one to a fourth decimal uh, account because you're getting fractional pips on that, uh, that stop loss uh, area. Anyway, go ahead. No, absolutely, yeah. That 2 underscore 4 decimal will give you that uh, 4 decimal there. And voila, there you have it. You have your login, which is your account number, and the password there. So go ahead and select Finish, and it'll automatically log you in. As you can see here on the left-hand side, these are the previous accounts that we've created. And uh, the one that we've just created, the Mr. Milliborn, is there right there. And you can see the account that we're in right there at the very left, top left-hand side. And uh, here we are in our demo account. So we're going to kind of overview Let's, a couple let's different, do different different sections here. Excellent. The top section, it's got a bunch of buttons on it. Uh, this is a, uh, it shows different different things you can do with the platform. There's the periodicity uh, toolbar there. So if you click on one of those buttons, Ben just clicked on the M1 button, which gives every every uh, candlestick a uh, one minute representation of time. Uh, M5 for five minutes, H1 for one hour. Uh, it goes up to one day and even um, one month if you want to do that. So gives you an idea as to where you can go with that. You can look at your um, your charting area either in the candlesticks. You can go with uh, with the line chart, uh, or you can do a bar chart if you want. Most people prefer the candlesticks uh, for reasons that it gives you more info. But it's up to you how you want to do that. Grab those magnification glasses. You can move in and out of your platform. You can take a macro or micro view of your subject. Um, there's also, this is, this is good to know, the, the uh, chart shift. If you have your chart shift on, which is that, uh, that button there that's depressed, you will see an open space on the right-hand side. And if you don't, you won't. So some people like to visualize it uh, as to where it may go. Some people don't care for that and they want to see the maximized, but, you know, it's all good. If you have that button, the, uh, the green button, the auto scroll, it will automatically bring you back to the first part of your, uh, of your charting area as a, uh, as uh, the ticks in the market happen. So if you're looking to look at history, you want to have that, uh, that little button deselected. A uh, bunch of other stuff, you can go over here and, and create some uh, trend lines. If you want to create a trend line, uh, point A to point B, and he's creating a trend line right here, and oh so red it is, you can do that. You can make a horizon or vertical lines. There's even a Fibonacci thing. You can get into that later. Uh, but there are a bunch of tools. You can do a text tool. Just a, a bunch of things up there. Uh, Market Watch box, which is the, the box in the top left-hand corner. This has all of the symbols that we offer. their bid and ask prices. So if perchance you are not seeing a grundle of them, and yes, we do offer a grundle, <laughs> uh, just right-click on that area, anywhere inside that area, and you'll get a drop-down. Select Show All. As you do, it will display all the all the pairs that we that we offer. If you don't want to look at a pair, uh, if you just want to focus on a few, you can just highlight one and delete it. As long as you don't have a chart open for it, it will uh, disappear for a moment until you recall it. That's cool. Yeah, it's very fun. Huh? That's really cool. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Right below that is the navigator window. Uh, this is like I mentioned before, all of your accounts are going to be listed there. If you have a, a live account, it's going to be represented as a little yellow jacketed icon of a person uh, and right below that is where you can see your indicators if you don't see your indicators just go ahead and select that plus sign 
So you can expand everything that's in your indicators uh, window there. And with that, I'm just going to add on to a, add on a moving average, a simple moving average onto the chart. You do that by just drag and dropping the moving average right onto the chart. And we're just going to leave it by default uh, and then go ahead and select OK. And you'll be able to see that in one second. Here. Green jacketed uh, golfers, isn't that like a, if you're a really good golfer, you get a drink, green jacket, isn't that right? Yes, yes. It is, isn't it? <laughs> that's like, like a, for so what, one tournament. Which one is Maybe that? Maybe I saw that on a, I don't know. Yeah, what, that's on the Master's tournament. The Master's tournament, yeah, thank the you. Masters. Yeah, okay. I'm cool. such a big golf fan. <laughs> but I know that's true. Yeah. But that's, that's how you put a moving average onto your chart. If you keep going down here, you'll see expert advisors. This is where all your expert advisors will, will be. You have access to them to those. Uh, custom indicators also are going to be listed here as well as your scripts are going to be listed as well. So lots of good information in the navigator and that's why it is called the navigator. Navigator. Yes indeed. Down below you'll see a box that spans all the way across left to right. This is your terminal box. This has got a bunch of stuff in it as well. Uh, starting off with the trade tab. The trade tab will show your trades. Uh, your trades, more specifically the trades that are in the market, they will show above your balance bar, that gray balance bar that's showing right there that has our $16,000 in it of uh, Monopoly money. And then below that, you have got your pending orders. So this is going to show your pending and market orders. If you click on the Account History tab, Account History tab will show your deposits, and this will also show your closed positions. So things go here when they're closed and these reflect your total uh, balance. And so there'll be a profit loss statement in here in just a moment as soon as we have some trades to open and close. <laughs> uh, we'll show you how to do that in a moment. The news tab, this shows headlines of uh, various news, um, uh, headlines that come through the Dow Jones feed. Uh, if you decide you wanted to look at that, you can just go into the to headline and there's information on uh, a respective headline. So it doesn't automatically force you to look at everything. Uh, you can choose which ones you want to look at. The uh, alerts, this is where you would actually create an alert, an alert that would s either sound or, or possibly even send you an email, depending on your IP provider, um, if uh, a specific currency uh, rose to or fell to, rose to a certain point or, or descended to a certain point on the, uh, on the price line. There is your mailbox, that's where we get to send you information, that's where our friend Carl Carl's awesome. He's uh, part of our client services team as well. Sent you out that uh, welcome webinar uh, to, uh, to join us in approximately 20 minutes. That was approximately more than 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> experts, this is a history of uh, where your experts are added and removed uh, from. And the journal is just a history of what you've done on your account. Uh, uh, in essence, what, what kind of clicks you've, you've had on your, on your account. Yes, indeed. Uh, last but not least, this is the charting screen right here, as you can see, this big black screen where it's going to chart out whatever currency pair you're looking at. You can see the top left-hand side, that's the currency that we're seeing right now. It's mighty pretty. Mighty pretty, and it's M5 standing for minute five. Each candle will represent five minutes. And if you want to change the background colors, uh, you can right-click on the chart and go to Properties, and go to Colors, and that way you'll be able to change, if you want to change the background, I kind of like it more of a a light gray or a silverish background myself, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm in charge of the mouse today. You are. You are. You're going to leave the white. I'm going to leave. <laughs> okay. I'm, you I'm can do whatever you want. I'm going to leave. <laughs> I'm going to leave the white on there. But actually, no. If if you want the uh, right hand side, the, not the actual vertical uh, valued numbers to change, you can go to properties again and change that foreground if you want to change it to something a little bit that stands out a little bit more. Change that if you want to. Like. And uh, lots of stuff you could go. We could go into this, a bunch of stuff on the platform, the functionality of the platform itself. We have limited time. Very limited. So we want to respect your time and thank you for coming with us. And we'll, uh, what's next? Should we go jump into a new order? Yes, indeed. Okay.